Carol Duncan with you this afternoon. We've only got a few minutes, uh, Joe Clancy, but I tell you what, that's enough to put the fear of whatever right through you, isn't it? And I know that you're a parent too. Yeah, it's um, it's one of those shocking situations, I suppose. If uh, When you're involved in the work that I do and you're a parent as well, you see the sides of both sides of things and obviously you, you take your own kids into account, which uh, makes it a lot all more personal too, all I right. think. You're a police officer. Day to day you work on the child protection register to try and make sure that uh, you, as the, the police, know where people are at any given moment, I guess. Um, but out of hours, you volunteer for the grey man that we were just hearing about there. Why? I mean, haven't you had enough when you get <laughs> home at the end of the day? I, I, I suppose it, it's, it did. It struck a chord with me um, being in the police and over the years as well, even before I did a, uh, the child protection register, um, you'd still come in contact with victims of pedophile activity. So, I mean, it's it struck a chord with me that someone's actually got to get out and not just talk about it or not just donate money, even though that's quite welcome, but to actually get in there and try to help alleviate the problem. I don't think we'll ever fix it, unfortunately, but you can certainly save a lot of kids in the meantime. What sort of work have you been involved in with Grey Man? Mainly at this point in time, just fundraising. Um, this is great, talking to a cop, because I don't have to say, now don't give any details <laughs> or name names. Yeah, name names. <laughs> um, pretty much at this point, it's only just been fundraising. Um, I've, uh, I was asked by the Grey Man to try and open a branch here in Newcastle, which, uh, with the help of some others, we managed to do. Um, it's only still in its infancy, though. It's only very new. So we've had one fundraising event, which earned uh, around $10,000 for the charity, which we were pretty happy with. Later in the year, we hope to have another event, uh, Black Tie Ball. So at this point in time, it's only fundraising, but uh, when uh, time permits and circumstances change, I might be able to help them out a little bit more. Is it entirely about international rescue? Um, at this point, it is. Um, not only just rescue, though, um, but also the, the building of infrastructure and supplying programs to these uh, villages overseas. Um, as you can imagine, some of these countries are literally third world mm -hmm. countries, third world conditions. So they don't have the agencies and the uh, type of support that we have in Australia. So, um, yeah, a lot of it's to do with building from the ground up, get the infrastructure in so these parents don't have to uh, be duped into selling their children into prostitution. How often do the parents know? That they are going to prostitution, do yeah. you know? Again, I mean, it's a bit hard for us to sort of realise here, but we're really, without sounding um, derogatory, we're really talking about people in third world countries with very little if education, if any, Yeah. Li living up in the hills in grass huts. And so, they're desperate. And they're desperate. I mean, um, so it's very hard to imagine that sort of life from day in, day out. So I would imagine not many. I would okay. imagine not many. So the ways in which, because I'd never heard of the grey man, and, and you said to me earlier that you hadn't either until you, you were actually yeah. about to do some other sort of volunteer work until you saw a story on this and went, that's the one. Yeah, that's right, that's right. So um, it's, it's not the world's most widely known charity. It's only relatively new since 2004. But um, it, it is growing. It is getting a lot more support, especially now that we're starting to open up branches in different areas. So hopefully, um, if anyone's listening and that's willing to help or be able to assist in any way, by all means, contact us. Because on the one hand, it's it's the rescue of children. On the other hand, it's trying to put a bit of infrastructure in place. Isn't yeah, it? obviously the rescue is the main the main uh, project. It, it really does get the kids literally out of harm's way to safe houses and other locations. And it's all in conjunction. And then gives them a school and gives them Schooling. And, and it just gives them safety at first. It mm. gives them safety. And let me point out too, it is in conjunction with local authorities, so mm. it's not just a ragtag sort of bunch. But, I mean, if people can think, and I, I think I've said it earlier at some point, that if people can think about what it must be like for a little kid at the moment, at the genuine moment they are becoming a victim in the process of being a victim, I mean, to me, that's just unbelievable. 